Hi there, everyone. Lara Riggio here from my Central Park Energy Center in the heart of New York City, and I'm really glad you're here because in today's episode, I'm going to share with you how to master Mercury retrograde. Guys, to be honest with you, I never really paid a lot of attention to this until I started seeing so many clients come into my office really complaining about the same symptoms. Irritability, anger, frustration, overwhelm, and on top of it, being unable to sleep. They were all waking up between 3 and 5 a.m. Uncanny, right? And the same energy systems were out of balance in their bodies. So when I was able to take them through specific exercises and they did them at night before they went to sleep, they were able to sleep peacefully through the night. And with the tips that I gave them to help them manage mercury mishaps throughout their day, they were able to take advantage of this time period versus just getting themselves all bent out of shape. So I'm gonna share with you the same thing that I share with my clients during this time of the year. Because if you look at this, with a little bit of different perspective, you're likely to possibly see some new things about your life, find opportunities, meet new people, and create new possibilities for creating more ease, joy, and happiness in your life. So, number one, I just wanna cover what has a tendency to happen when Mercury is retrograde. The number one, travel can be affected, technology is often affected, and communication. So, some tips, really check, confirm your travel plans. Also, you might want to use that text option, get them to notify you two hours, an hour, a half an hour before your flight's supposed to take off so that you'll be aware of changes in the schedule. You'll have a little bit more time to change plans, switch gears, and things can happen easier even if there is a switch in plans or something more dramatic happens. Number two, back up your technology people. Make sure that you've got everything backed up to the cloud so you won't lose anything, okay? Number three, with communication, if a friend misses a date, if an appointment that you've really been needing gets rescheduled, Stop and look at this. Take some time and space and see what you might be able to do with that time instead. Because a lot of times, guys, when these mishaps occur, there's new opportunities or possibilities around the corner. For example, I had a client who was waiting and waiting and waiting to start this new job. And she was super excited about it because she was gonna be working under a former mentor of hers. She winds up getting the job and soon after her mentor quits. Oh, she was devastated because this was one of the reasons she left her old company. After a while of waiting, she found out that she had been groomed for that position and she wound up taking the job of her former mentor. It was a huge upgrade for her and a huge growth step in her career and who knew it was gonna happen this way? So, if she had really stuck to and been annoyed and frustrated because her expectations weren't fulfilled, if she hadn't gone with the flow, who knows what might have happened. I also have another client whose travel plans got foiled and she wound up meeting her husband in a lounge bar. So again, pretty exciting. You never know when that appointment gets canceled what you might wind up doing with that time. Also, technology. If there's a technology snafu, maybe you realize that you don't have systems in place in your business that could make things easier in the future. So see if you can use these mishaps. So I always say upset can mean new growth and possibilities and opportunities. If you're willing to stop, release your negative feelings about it and look at what you may want in the new circumstance, and see how you might be able to create that for yourself. You know, expectations really do kill possibilities and opportunities. If you are married to something being a certain way, you may actually miss a huge gift that's coming your way. So please, throughout your day, be open to this. And in a minute, I'm gonna do a tapping routine that can help you 
just be more open and take these opportunities to sit back and look at how maybe the universe or your inner self or your divine guides might be guiding you into a new way of thinking that could really change your life for the better. So that's coming. I also want to address the issue of sleep though. In the blog, there is a sheet that shows you specific head holds to do for specific time periods if you're waking up during those periods. So specific meridians have a two hour time window each day where they're most active. And if you're having trouble getting to sleep between 11 and 1 a.m., it's very likely your gallbladder meridian may be overactive. Now when gallbladder is overactive, you have a tendency to be a little bit more frustrated, annoyed, and overwhelmed when things don't move forward and go your way. So <laughs> if any of these mercury mishaps are, are happening during your day, it can get annoying and your gallbladder meridian may be overstimulated. And that could cause you to have a little bit more difficulty going to sleep at night between 11 and 1, okay? If you're waking between 3 and 5 a.m., that is a time, it's actually a lung meridian time, but 3 to 5 p.m. is actually the time when your bladder meridian is most active. And sometimes the two hour period that's in p.m can affect the AM time and your ability to rest and really, really sleep deeply during that period. So bladder marine is associated with your central nervous system. And I'm not sure why, but during this time period, when Mercury's retrograde, I find people's bladder meridians can be overstimulated and their central nervous system can be overcharged as a result. And this could cause you to wake up between 3 and 5 a.m. So depending on what time you're struggling to get to sleep and to relax, if you look at the sheet in the blog, it will show you the specific head hold to do before you go to sleep that can help to sedate either gallbladder or bladder meridian so you can have a more easy, restful, peaceful sleep and wake up feeling your best. So check that out. And this is a great morning routine to also help you sedate gallbladder and bladder meridians and move energy through your chakras so that you'll be more open to experiencing maybe some miracles during your day that could be caused from mishaps, okay? So the first way that you can start to calm these over-energized responses is by tracing these meridians backwards. So I want you right now to think about anything that has happened recently that's been frustrating. Any of the miss, any of the, if you've experienced any of these mercury mishaps, think about them. Or just anything that you're finding trouble moving forward in your life, think about anything that feels, in, in any area that where you feel thwarted. Okay, so now we're gonna start with gallbladder. So you will bend over and do these with both feet and legs at the same time. I'm gonna do it with one just so that you can see what I'm doing, okay? So you are gonna trace from the second to last toe up the sides of your legs, all the way up the sides of your legs, up your torso, behind your neck, and over to the front of your ear. You're gonna do that a bunch of times. So bend down, do it with both feet, go from your second to last toe, up the sides of your legs, sides of your torso, over your head, to the sides of your face. Do it again. Second to last toe, up the side of your leg, up the sides of your torso, over your head, to the front of your ear, and again, second to last toe, up the sides of your legs, sides of your torso, over to in front of your ears. Let's do it just one more time. Second to last toe, up the sides of your legs, sides of your torso, over your head, to right in front of your ears. Now let's do a hookup. So you're gonna put one finger in your belly button, the other in between your eyebrows, and you're gonna pull up gently on these points. Take a deep breath in through your nose, and exhale the air out of your mouth. One more time, deep breath in. 
and exhale the air out of your mouth. And why not take one more to ground yourself? Deep breath in. Exhale the air out. Beautiful. Now we're going to do bladder. So trace from that pinky toe all the way along the outside of your foot. Now go up the back of your leg. So behind your calf, behind your thigh, literally over your bum, up to your bra strap or mid back for you guys out there. Go over your head to your back and bring this over your head to in between your eyebrows. Do it again. Outside of your foot, up the pinky toe, backs of your legs, back of your thigh, over your bum, to mid back, over your head to your back, and go to your eyebrows. Again, trace up with both hands here, side of your foot, back of your leg, back of your thighs, over your bum, back, over your head, to your eyebrows. We're gonna do two more times. Outside of your foot, up the backs of your legs, over your bum to your mid back, over your eyes. One more time, guys, here we go. Outside, up the backs of your legs, over your bum, over your head, to your eyebrows. Let's do another hookup. One finger in your belly button, the other in between your eyebrows. Pull up gently on these points, take a deep breath in through your nose. Exhale the air out. Deep breath in. Exhale the air out. One more time, deep breath in. And exhale the air out. Awesome. So now we're gonna actually work with your chakras. Okay, you're gonna place one hand across your forehead like this. The other hand is gonna go on your first chakra, which really is, you follow your belly button down right to the pubic bone, it's right on the top of that. So you're gonna tap that chakra as you think to yourself, <laughs> if and when I am foiled by a mishap or an upset, I can stop, see how I feel, clear the emotion, and look at how there could be a potential opportunity here or a possibility. Pause here and breathe into that chakra and exhale the air out. Now you're gonna go right under your belly button. Tap this chakra and just think to yourself, as things occur that may be not expected, that could throw a wrench in my day, I can remember that as I calm down, I can handle just about anything that comes my way. And there's not too much out there that's life-threatening, so I can calm down and think about how there could be opportunity or possibility here. Pause here and breathe into that chakra and exhale the air out. Good, I'm gonna switch hands, you can too. Put your other hand up on your forehead. This time you're gonna go above your belly button. Tap here as you think to yourself, <laughs> As my day goes by, I can be conscious of how I feel, what I want, and look at the potential opportunities and guidance I could be getting from the circumstances that are occurring. I can pay attention to how I might be being guided here to more positive outcomes. Pause here and breathe into this, and exhale the air out. Now you're gonna to go to your heart chakra right between your chest here, and you're gonna tap here as you think to yourself, if and when <laughs> mishaps occur, I can stay focused on everything I have and just how lucky and blessed I am. Coming from this place of abundance, I can handle anything knowing that I have enough and I am enough for any situation. Pause here and breathe into this. Exhale, good. Put the other hand on your forehead. Now you're gonna tap your throat and just think here. <laughs> I can pause and think about what I wanna say and ask for in any situation. I can pause and give myself the space and time to figure out what I wanna say or what I wanna ask for in any situation. Pause here and breathe into this. Exhale the air out. Now you're gonna go in between your eyebrows, 
tap this and think to yourself, I know who I am, I know what I am, and I know how I serve the world. And I can remind myself of this when things don't go as planned. I know who I am, what I am, and how I serve the world. And I can remind myself of this if things don't go as planned. Pause here and breathe into this. And exhale the air out. Last but not least, tap the crown chakra as you think to yourself. If any mishap occurs, I can stop, look, and listen for guidance from my guides, my inner self, and the universe. If and when things don't go as planned, I can stop, look, and listen for advice, new opportunities, and possibilities from my divine guides, my inner self, and the universe. Pause here and breathe into this. Exhale the air out. And now I just want you to do one more hookup. So go ahead, put finger in your belly button, the other one in between your eyebrows, pull up on these points, take a deep breath in through your nose. Exhale the air out. One more time, deep breath in. Exhale out. And as you take this last breath, breathe in. Exhale out. Know that you have everything that you need to weather any change. And as you know this, stop, look, and listen versus getting yourself bent out of shape for new signs, opportunities, possibilities, and magic during this time. So much love and power, guys.